Okay, lesson 17, the do while loop. This is a little bit different beast. Still a loop used to iterate a number of times for a number of things, but unlike for loops and while loops where you have an initialization, then a comparison, then you do your work, the do while loop drops into the loop once. So let's take a look at a while loop just to familiarize ourselves. I have initialization, then a comparison, and it could be that this starts out at 10, in which case this while loop will never run. But I may have some odd cases where I wanted to do at least one version of that. It could be that I'm doing some work and it returns a value that then determines should I continue doing this work. That would be a case for do while. And that looks like this. Similar initialization, and I can print out a debug statement saying, I'm going to start now. Then it says, do this block of code while i is less than five. Now the difference again is that it will drop in here and do the GS info and I++ at least once, at least once. It, it could be that you know this makes total sense and this says false, but it doesn't matter that it's going to break out the first time through. It will still run at least once. So in this case, i starts out as zero, I print start, prints i is zero, increments it to one, then checks, yes, i is less than one. Goes up back up to do and runs it again. Prints out the value of one. So now I have zero and one, increments it, compares it, runs it again until, of course, i becomes five, in which case I've printed the four value, incremented it to five, i is no longer less than five, this evaluates to false and drops out and i is five. Looks similar in the output to the other two examples, but the critical difference is that the loop happens at least once. The code inside the loop happens at least once. So that is the critical factor there. I'm just gonna run this again for you real quick, just to show you, here's the start, zero, one, two, three, four, i is five, and it runs fine. So that is a do while loop. When would you use this? Anytime you want it to happen at least once. When we get into functions, this may make more sense because the function could return a value that is then used to determine, should I run again? That's a do while loop, very short and sweet. Use them where you see a need. Keep an eye out for them. They're not used as much as, frankly, I think they should be, but that's completely up to you. If you've, if you've got something outside the loop that says, should I even start this loop? That might be a clue that do while is needed there. So I will talk to you again on the next video, my last one about loops, where I talk about nesting these loops because you can put them all together. Talk to you soon.